Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell, I have absolutely no eye makeup on today and there is a reason for that and I'm very, very excited about this. But recently, Jeffree Star Cosmetics released his Beauty Killer 2 makeup palette and yes, your girl did get it along with, you know, something something else that I am also wearing today. So in today's video, we are in fact going to be trying out the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer 2 palette. I am really, really excited about this. So when Jeffree Star, his brand first came out, the very first makeup palette that he ever came out with was the original Beauty Killer palette, which is this one right here. This one, to be perfectly honest with you, is probably my least favorite Jeffree Star palette that I have. So when he came out with the second one and he showed what it looked like, I was way more excited for the second one. And that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. We are going to be opening this baby up. We're going to be looking at it. We're going to be trying it. We're going to be putting the shadows on my eyes. I'm going to come up with a fun little look. But really quick, before we do jump into the makeup part of this video, we do have a sponsor. So let's go ahead and roll that sponsor footage and then we can go ahead and get started. Hey guys, editing me here, just popping in to talk about the sponsor of today's video. And the sponsor of today's video is of course the lovely and amazing Dossier Per fumes. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard me talk about Dossier in the past, but if you are new here and this is the first time you are hearing about Dossier, let me go ahead and tell you about them right now because this is the ultimate secret weapon that every man, woman, everything in between needs. So for those of you who do not know what Dossier is, Dossier is an online perfume company where they make designer inspired fragrances for more than a fair price. They have scents for all different kinds, women, men, unisex, you name it, they have it. They have scents inspired by Chanel, Tom Ford, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, Marc Jacobs. If you're more of a fruity person or a floral person or a musky person or a woody person, they have something on there for you. So once you go on Dossier's site and you pick out a scent that you want to try, this is exactly how your package comes in the mail. It just comes in this little box right here and when you open it up, right on top you have the iconic saying that says, iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. And right inside you have a little piece of paper that tells you the name of the scent. It also tells you the notes, the scent that it is inspired by. So for instance, the scent that I got was inspired by the Chanel Number no. 5 perfume. It tells you the concentration, their mission statement, and how it works. It doesn't get any more simple than shopping on Dossier. It is just, it's the easiest, fastest site to go on for perfumes. And let me tell you, ever since I started using and working with Dossier, I no longer buy high-end perfumes. Dossier is literally all I wear. And of course, you also get the full 50 milliliter bottle with the scent inside. So the scent that I got, floral aldehydes, I think that's how you say that. And the packaging is really, really cute. Very minimalistic packaging. It looks really nice on the vanity. I swear to God, I have like 20 different scents from Dossier at this point, And it just looks so fancy and minimalistic and cute on my little vanity area. I absolutely love the packaging. So you do get a full 50 milliliter bottle. And how it works is once you do get your full 50 milliliter bottle scent, you can go ahead and try it out. See how it works with your skin see how it wears throughout the day. If you're a huge fan of it, that is awesome. Go ahead and use up the full 50 milliliter bottle. Trust me, that won't be hard to do. Or if you wear it and after a few days or a few hours even, if you're just like, eh, I'm not really feeling this one. I think I want to try something different. That is not a problem at all. Go ahead and package everything back up. Head on over to their site to the return section. Print out a shipping label. Send it back. No questions asked and you will get a full refund. And you can go on and pick out another their scent for yourself. So I am a huge fan of Chanel perfume, Chanel number no. five, Chanel Chance. That one's probably my favorite. And this one, when I saw that they had a scent inspired by Chanel number no. five, I went bananas for it, had to pick it up. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So some of the notes in this one are aldehydes, neroli, bergamot, lang lang, jasmine, may rose, vetiver, sandalwood, and orris. So this it's a very unique smelling perfume. It's very distinguishable. Like when you smell it, you just know it's Chanel number no. five. Mm -hmm. And this scent is just, oh my God, it's just, it's such a beautiful scent. It almost has like a baby powder, lotion, 
flowery scent to it. It's really hard to explain, but it's just like, it smells so good and it just wraps me up and makes me feel all cozy and I'm just, I'm in love with it. And what's really cool is Dossier actually has a brand new payment method where you can earn store credit and money off of your order. All you have to do is at checkout, you just have to select catch at the end of checkout and you can earn a $10 sign on bonus. You can also use the code BREE10 for 10% off your order. Really, really cool stuff. Lots of great ways to expand your perfume collection and you can always be smelling good morning, noon, and night. I literally wear Dossier to bed, not even kidding you. Sometimes I can't sleep and I'm like, why can't I sleep? And I'm like, oh yeah, because I didn't spray Dossier on before I went to bed. Like, it's a thing. I love it. They're a great company. I love what they do. So if you guys are interested in checking everything out, I will have a link right at the top of the description box and all of the information down below so you guys can click, check it out, and find your new favorite scent. So thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video and for continuing to work with me. I love you guys so much. And now let's get into the video. So I did only get two things from this launch. The me I wasn't really that interested in and the ice crusher palette I also really wasn't that interested in just because I have so many mirrors already and I have so many highlighters already I just didn't see a point in getting either one of those so the two things that really caught my eye on the, for this launch was of course the beauty killer 2 palette and the meat cleaver necklace which I am wearing on my neck today it is very very cute it's not sharp it does have a nice blunt edge so you're not gonna like cut yourself but i absolutely love this necklace i am a huge necklace person i'm not like a huge jewelry person like i don't ever wear rings or bracelets or anything like i wear my body jewelry and I wear necklaces. So when he was coming out with a necklace for this launch, I was all about it. And the little like meat cleaver, freaking living for it. I just think it is so cute. It's just like a little silver meat cleaver. And then on the little handle, which I don't think you can see, but it does have the little like Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo. So really, really like the necklace, huge fan of that. And it did come in this little box. It just kind of slides out and the necklace was right inside. I just wanted to keep the box to show you what the actual packaging looked like. I did open this to make sure it wasn't broken, but I haven't really like looked at it, if you know what I mean. Like I haven't really studied the colors or anything. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so when you take it out of the really cool tissue paper, I love his tissue paper. He's like, I don't know, it's just, it's so cool to me. Right when you take it out of the tissue paper, here is what the cardboard box looks like. As you can see, it just says Beauty Killer 2 right there. I love the two with the blood dripping. I think that's really, really badass. And when you take it out of the little cardboard box, here is what the actual palette looks like. So we have a butcher knife right here with Beauty Killer, the number two, and then the lips in the center. And the Beauty Killer part and the number two is textured. So it's very raised and it feels really, really cool. Now, here is the comparison to the first Beauty Killer palette and the second one. So as you can see, there are quite a few differences. The top one is more of like a baby pink and this one is more of like a hot pink kind of. The quality obviously is a lot better. You can also see the difference in the thickness of these palettes. So this one is the first one and this one is the second one. So they definitely went in a little bit more for the second palette as far as like thickness and sturdy wise. So the top one right here is Beauty Killer 1 and the bottom one is Beauty Killer 2. So there is the comparison. The second one has a lot more brighter colors and the top one has more like neutral dark shimmers in there. You know, this one was his very first palette ever with his brand. So this one is going to feel a little bit juvenile and a little bit more cheap than this one. So overall, I think comparing the packaging, I actually prefer the Beauty Killer 2 over this one. Even though this one is really, really thin, really easy to travel with, I just like the feel and the look of this one better. But they are both still cardboard. And when you open it up, now there's actually a few things I noticed about this when I opened it up and we're going to talk about that because I don't know if, you know, they're struggling uh, 
money-wise or if they are just not on top of their quality control anymore, but I did notice a few things that I did want to bring up for this video. So before we get into that, let's go ahead and open this Bad Lab because I am so excited for you guys to see this. Here is what the Beauty Killer 2 eyeshadows look like. So it is a really beautiful palette. I do prefer the colors in this one way more than the first one. Like the purples, the pinks, the self-destruct self self-destruction me self-expression shade is really really cool i also am obsessed with this kind of like silver gray guillotine dream shade i love that so much colors in this are really pretty i am a huge fan of them i think i can create a really fun look with this now what i was talking about earlier as far as quality control now you'll notice when I first opened this up, there was no plastic covering protecting the eyeshadows like there usually is. And there was no plastic film over the mirror like there usually is. Now with every other palette I've ever gotten from Jeffree Star, when you open up the eyeshadow palette for the first time, there's a little plastic film that sits over top of the eyeshadows. That's basically just to like protect them. It's like an extra form of security. And there's also a plastic film that will sit over top of the mirror to protect the mirror. You know, because every time I do a Jeffree Star palette video, I always peel that film off for you guys. And they, this one just doesn't have it. Like... There's no plastic film over the mirror. There's nothing protecting the eyeshadows. It was packaged very well. Like there was a sufficient amount of bubble wrap when I when I first opened it. So, I mean, they did package it well, but I, I just found that kind of strange how it didn't have those like little things that we usually get in a Jeffree Star palette. Is it the end of the world? No. But I'm also wondering like, are they just not caring as much anymore or can they not afford it anymore? Because you know, Jeffree Star Cosmetics especially and other makeup brands, their kind of popularity is like went from here at the top of the mountain and it's very quickly going down because makeup is just not it anymore. A lot of beauty influencers kind of ruin the makeup game with all the drama and just people just aren't into it anymore. And you'll notice a lot of makeup brands, especially Jeffree Star Cosmetics, is having a lot of sales or a lot of deals or buy one get ones or if you order this many things, you'll get a free this. You know what I mean? So it's just... I, don't, I just don't know if like maybe they just can't afford to do those little extra steps anymore. Oh, and also I should probably like mention this because I don't know if any of anyone is new watching my videos. I buy all of my Jeffree Star stuff with my own money. Um, I, n I have never been sent PR. I've never gotten free things. I, I buy all of this with my own hard-earned money. So all my reviews are very valid and genuine. I kind of have an idea of what look I want to do. I'm pretty sure. Ugh, I stayed up really late. I think, we, I think it was like 4.30 in the morning just watching Hoarders. I love that show. And, uh, you know, I knew that I was going to film today. So I was like, Brie, you better get to bed or you're going to be so tired and groggy. And I was like, mm, I'll be fine. And now I'm so tired and groggy. Like, I'm drinking coffee, but I'm highly considering going down to my fridge and grabbing a Red Bull because... <sighs> your girl is tired and I feel like it's showing in my eyes like I'm just sitting here like you know what I mean I'm tired I'm tired it is such a gorgeous day out today it's like gonna be 60 degrees the sun is shining it's been raining here for like the last three fucking weeks so the fact that I'm actually seeing the actual sun it's fantastic but literally for the last three weeks I was like am I in Washington like what is with all the constant rain without further ado I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna play with the beauty killer 2 palette the first thing I want to do is just to like get some color on my eyes I'm gonna take this really nude shade right here this one is called respect I'm gonna take some of that on my eye and then I'm gonna go in with under oath just a tiny bit that in the crease a little bit but this one's gonna go all over the lid and then under oath in the crease a little bit well there really isn't much color payoff to this respect shade but that's not really why I'm using it I'm using it just to kind of like just put it all over the eyelid so the other eyeshadows can stick to it. I mean, I guess there is a little bit of color. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, there's a tiny bit of color payoff. Next, like I said, I'm going to go in with that under oath. 
shade and I'm just going to very lightly start dusting this in the crease. Now his eyeshadows, I, I always forget like how pigmented his eyeshadows are because every time I think I'm going in with a little bit, it's always like pow right in your face, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is the Under Oath shade. I love shades of this color because they just make like the perfect, perfect transition shade. I'm sorry about my finger right here. Um, I, I don't know, should I put a band-aid on or, I don't know, I don't want to offend anybody with my injuries, but I almost got attacked by a dog yesterday at work. Um, I'm pretty beat up, like I have this on my finger, um, where he got me with his mouth, and then I have a huge injury on like my inner leg knee area. So I'm very sore today and I'm very beat up, like if anyone just saw me, like walking down the street with all of my fucking injuries, they would think I'm in like an abusive relationship. This under oath shade is really pretty. Like this is like my ideal eyeshadow shade right here. Like when I'm doing just really light, easy makeup, this is the kind of eyeshadow shade that I go for. And next what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna take this far, purpley shade right here. This one is called Death Row. It's kind of like a purple color. And I'm gonna take that in the crease as well to see how that looks. I'm kind of going for like a purple silver. This one is just gonna like darken shit up. I guess I didn't really need to use that Under Oath shade, but to be perfectly honest with you, <laughs> I always have to use that kind of eyeshadow color every time I do eye makeup. It's like, it's just, it's a routine. The quality of these eyeshadows is really nice. They're really pigmented. They're blending really easily. They're not super powdery. Like I'm not having powder shoot out of the corner of my eye like I sometimes will have happen. I'm just going back in with that brush we used for the first two colors and I'm just using that to kind of buff out the edges a little bit. It's a really pretty eyeshadow color. I don't think I've ever worn an eyeshadow color that looks quite like that. So that's, it's really pretty. I really like it. I'm gonna leave that how it is for right now. I'm just gonna go back and kind of buff out the edges a little bit. Make it a little less scary. Okay, now we're gonna have some fun. And I don't really know if this is going to make or break the look, uh, but I really wanna use this shade. And I am obsessed with this one up here, this guillotine dream shade, this like silver. I don't, oh my God, I just, I love this so freaking much. And I really wanna put this all over the eyelid. Is it going to look weird? Maybe. Is it going to ruin the look? Maybe, but. I don't really care. I really wanna try it. I am drawn to this shade and I must have it on my eye. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna start patting. And I'm not using any water or setting spray on my brush. I'm just going in willy nilly here and I'm just packing that all over the eyelid. Ooh, actually, that actually looks kinda cool. Also, I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm raising my eyebrows while I'm doing this and I got Botox about a month ago and I, you, like, there's no wrinkles. Like, this is me raising my eyebrows as high as I can, and there's no wrinkles. Like, and this is me scowling. Like, I have no wrinkles right here, and I'm like, and there's nothing there. Like, <laughs> Botox is amazing. I didn't think it would, like, work that well for me, but goddamn, I stand corrected because fuck. That's really pretty. I like it. I really like this. I don't think I've ever done an eyeshadow look quite like this before but I'm digging it. It's like this like gunmetal, like smoky. I don't know, I'm really living for it. I really like it. All right, next I'm gonna take this Broken AF Morphe brush. I'm literally just gonna use it like this. I think the next shade I'm gonna go in with and I'm just gonna darken up those outer corners just a teensy bit. And I think for that one, I'm gonna use the shade right above that purple we used. And it's this really, I think it's the darkest shade in the palette, but it's this one and this one is called Redemption. And I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit of that and just darken up the outer corners just a smidgy. So trashy, like what, what am I doing? I'm like barely putting any pressure on my eyelid and I'm just kind of flicking the brush in that outer corner. Yeah, that's kind of kind of what I was going for there. And then I'm just going to take the same brush that we use Guillotine Dream, that silver, and I'm just going to kind of buff very lightly back and forth. 
So that's kind of what that is looking like right now. I do want the silver to be a little more intense. So I am gonna take some setting spray and I'm just gonna get this a little bit wet the intensity up. There we go, just a tiny bit there because I really want that silver to pop. So I'm going to finish the top of my eyes. I'm gonna do a little bit of black liquid eyeliner as per usual and then we will move on to the lower lash line area. So I'm going to do my eyeliner, my liquid eyeliner off camera because I really want to focus because I want to make sure I do it right this time. Because if you guys remember, what video was that? I don't know. It was like one of the last makeup videos I did. My eyeliner turned out so shitty. So we're going to avoid that today. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to use the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe collection, just the black liquid eyeliner. I love this shit so much. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to do my liquid eyeliner on my top and I will be right back. Okay, I have, I think, successfully did the liquid eyeliner. It's not too thick, it's not too crazy. Is it perfectly even? No, but that's okay. So now we are going to move on to the bottom part of the eyeballs. I am of course going to be putting on some eyeliner because I don't, I don't exist without eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics automatic eyeliner and this is in cold digger i got this in a mystery box and i wear this all the time like it's it's pretty legit so i should probably make sure i don't have makeup on my finger eyeliner will just always and forever be one of my favorite products and now is where we are really gonna spice this look up and i'm really excited so i think in the inner corners of my eyes is where I'm going to use that self-expression shade, not self-destruction. This one right here, this really beautiful shade. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with shades like this because nine times out of 10, they're not very pigmented and they almost always look like shit. But they're really pretty to look at in the pan, so we're gonna attempt to pull the, this off. Blah, words are very difficult. We're just going to attempt to put that in the inner corners of my eyes just to give it like a pop of color. I'm just going to take a brush and I'm just going to go in. And also I feel like it's very hard to like make these shades pigmented and look good. Ooh. Not bad. Like I'm not pressing very hard. And I'm just kind of like going in. That's actually really impressive. Really liking how that looks a lot. That's like gorgeous. That's what that looks like. Really digging it. Now, I think it is time for some mascara. And I'm a weird bitch and I use like three different kinds of mascara because I'm a freak. So I have this mascara. I use the Sky High mascara by Maybelline. And I use this on my bottom lashes because the brush is like perfect bottom lashes so i use this on the bottom lashes and then i use two different kinds for my top lashes i'm really weird i really i really go in and then next i use the hard candy marilyn monroe mascara and i put this on my top lashes are you warm honey were you laying in the sun once the sun's out today, I have like a beam of sunlight coming in my room and that's where Jackal was laying because he loves to lay in the sun. And he just walked up to me and started panting and he never pants. Like he's always like a dog that has his mouth shut. So when he's panting, I know that he's really warm and he just came and laid in the shade right next to me. Oh, thank God. He's just, he's the most purest soul. Like I'm tearing up. Like I love him so much. It's ridiculous. In about five minutes, he'll go back to the, and lay in the sun. He's so funny. All right, and then the third mascara that I use is I use the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume. This really big brush, and I use this on my top lashes as well. And because I love this green yellow shade so much, I'm actually gonna take some and just pop it right here. Okay, so here's the eye makeup all finished up. I love this look. I don't know about you guys. Like, I know it may, may seem kind of simple to you guys, but I'm living for this and I think it looks really, really good. So we're going to finish the rest of my face and do the lips. So far, this palette is way better than the first one. I really enjoy this palette a lot, a lot, a lot. Really, really good. Super happy with how 
everything turned out and I can literally see like five different eye looks in that palette that I could do like in this one mm, chef's kiss and for blush I'm just gonna go in with NARS deep throat just this little sample blush that I've had for literally years and it's probably expired AF but I don't really care and then for highlight I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Platinum Ice Skin Frost Palette and I think I'm gonna go in with the shade I think we're gonna go in with Canary Bling and we're just gonna load up on highlighter because we love highlighter here yes yes ma'am okay for lips I'm feeling nude I'm feeling nude today and I think I'm just gonna go with my tried and true I'm gonna go in with my celebrity skin liquid lipstick Okay guys, and here is what the look looks like all finished up. I um I went off camera and I did my hair. Um mm. Yeah, I never ever 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 do my hair, but I was just kind of feeling something a little bit different today. So I decided to go with like this like Mickey Mouse space bun kind of deal here. Um not my favorite. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. It just, it looks different because I never ever style my hair. Are they even even? Probably not. Um, so yeah, here, besides the hair, ignore the hair, but, uh, here's what the eye makeup looks like all finished up. Here's what the whole face looks like all finished up. I really like it. I am very, very happy with my first experience with the Beauty Killer 2 palette. I'm I'm living it. I'm, I really like this look. I definitely want to do more looks with this palette. Let me know what you guys think of this eyeshadow look. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Like, how do you feel about it? really liking it. The eyeshadows were super, super pigmented. They blended really, really nicely. They were really easy to work with. There wasn't a whole lot of fallout. They weren't super powdery. The pigmentation is just all always there with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So this palette is definitely a win for me. Highly recommend this one. Let me know down below. Did you guys get this palette? Did you guys like this palette? Sound off down below. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, make sure you go down and give me a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. I do upload every three to four days here and I will see the rest of you very soon soon in my next video. I love you guys so much. Happy spring. Finally warm weather is on the way and that's something I usually don't say because I am someone who loves the cold, loves the fall, but I'm actually really looking forward to some sunshine and warm weather. So I'm going to go enjoy the day and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye! Mwah.